just not long to go now and I just keep getting the urge to, to look around and it's still on the launch pad because I wouldn't miss this launch for all the tea in China. Three, two, one. This is Mission Headquarters, do you read? We wish you all a good mission. See you back on Earth. Hi, my name is Professor Brian Cox and I'm really privileged to be here today. You, behind me you can see the Saturn V rocket and it's ready to take three astronauts into lunar orbit and two of those, Neil Armstrong and 20 minutes later Buzz Aldrin, are going to be the first human beings in history to step foot on, on the lunar surface and absolutely incredible. And I, I don't know how those guys are feeling at the moment but they must be feeling on top of the world well, they're on top of the space rocket for a start, so so there we are, and that's absolutely amazing. What are they going to find on the moon, on the lunar surface? And you know, I just can't wait for those guys to bring back some some lunar rock to look at, and and it's going to be absolutely incredible. The, the chemical analysis that they will be able to do on on moon rock, and and you know, mankind has thought in the past that moon rock is made of cheese, but they're going to prove that theory wrong. And it's just absolutely amazing. The whole world is watching and people have been on the beaches around the Cape all night long. And it's a bit like a carnival atmosphere because people are sort of making a holiday of it and, and waiting for this marvellous spectacle of when this Saturn V rocket launches into space. And I just can't wait because it's just not long to go now and I just keep getting the urge to, to look around and it's still on the launch pad because I wouldn't miss this launch for all the tea in China. And, and you know, that must be millions and millions and millions and millions of tea leaves. And if I was to drink all that tea, I would be drinking it for thousands and thousands and thousands and, and whatever years. Absolutely amazing. And, and yeah, it's still there because I just have been looking forward to this for such a long time. And wow, what those guys must be thinking, you know. The, the Earth is a quarter of a million miles away from the Moon. And that means that the Sun is 372 times further away from us than the Moon. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely incredible. The distance from the Earth to the Sun is one astronomical unit. And that's something worth remembering because that's absolutely amazing. If you go to our nearest star, Proxima Centauri, it would take four light years. That means if you're travelling at the speed of light, it would take you four years to get there. But as yet, we haven't invented a, a spacecraft that's able to travel on a photon. And light has got some mysterious properties we don't fully understand. So anyway, I am just looking forward to this so much. And absolutely incredible because those guys, they're so brave. And, you know, it's any time now the launch is going to take place and I'm just waiting here and I'm just buzzing with excitement, you know. I just want to press, press the launch button and just see those guys go up into space. And, and I'm, this is absolutely incredible. This is one of the best things I've done, you know, and, um, and you know, and <laughs> the difference between darkness and light on the moon, shadow and sunlight is hundreds of, hundreds of degrees. I don't think people realise that fact, you know, and the, the space suits they wear cost thousands of pounds and the technology that goes into designing the space suits. This is absolutely incredible. This is one of the best things I've done, you know, and, um, and you know, and um, I, it's gone. It's gone. I, I've, I've missed, I've missed the launch. And I'm, I, I'm really well, well gutted here because I've missed it. It's gone. And, and that's even more remarkable because it must have happened when I was talking to you a few minutes ago and, and, and I've missed it. Um, I don't know what to say and it's really ruined my day. That's really ruined my day because I'm going to have to wait now until Apollo 12 launches, you know, and so that's going to be, be a while and, and I'm really annoyed that I've missed this launch. Um, yeah, um, so those guys are on their way, but I'm, I'm well gutted because I've missed this, you know, and um, so what can I say?